look at how the tilt performs using a third-party high-tech servo. You notice there's no high-pitch whine from it. And it also, it's pretty, pretty fast. The uh, only thing with this particular high-tech servo was that I had to um, tighten the screw a little bit on the looser side. Otherwise, it's a little bit too much friction for it because it's not a high torque uh, servo that I used, at least the particular one I used. And I also needed a programmer to change the direction of the servo to counterclockwise. Otherwise, it moved in the opposite direction. So, I'll have a link uh, in my description to the servo that I use in this. Um, as well as an exact replacement servo for the one that came with the Phantom uh, Vision. Oh, and for the wiring, I just uh, separated the wire from the original servo and I put it on the uh, replacement servo. So that way I'd use the same connector. Okay, and uh, if you ever needed to replace the horn on the middle that the servo plugs into, uh, that's... Uh, you could. It, you can take any uh, servo horn and just cut it to size and put it in there. Any servo ho horn that accommodates the size uh, nut that it uses. Okay, that's about it. The RC assistant, these are the settings that I'm using with the high-tech servo. So that way it gets the right uh, degree of movement. So you go into the RC assistant, plug it in, punch in those numbers, that's it. By the way, you can buy this high-tech servo without having to buy a programmer. You can get the servo from some websites have it where you can choose to have it automatically in the reverse rotation from where it comes from default. So that way you don't have to go out and buy a programmer and have it redone. Here is with the uh, camera removed. This is the uh, servo that came with it. Now I'll replace the servo because my servo that came with it just suddenly stopped working. No apparent reason. Just wouldn't respond anymore. So I'll let me this out. And here's what it looks like out of it. So you can see it's a high tech HS5055MG. I use electrical tape on either side here to make it the exact same length and width of the original and another piece of tape over here and I put the original connector onto the base and that's it and again here is uh, the original servo it's a cheap no-name servo but it does have a lot of torque 